Good morning, friends. Happy Friday. It is 7.20 in the morning. And I am on my way to work. I am not going to Starbucks this morning for two reasons. One, because I went Wednesday. And two, because when I leave work today at 12 o'clock, I have to go run and return that coat still at Old Navy. I did put it in a bag finally, it's back there. And uh, I'm gonna go return that. So I thought, you know what, my afternoon out, I'm just gonna go ahead and grab myself a Starbucks and enjoy it while I'm out doing a little bit of re-shopping. Re re returning and shopping but reshopping yes um so that is what i'm gonna do and um sorry i didn't end the vlog last night um i just kind of got home and got busy doing a lot of things and just never picked up my camera again so i'm sorry about that um i actually want to um say um how sorry i am for the families in san bernardino what a sad tragedy that this has that this has happened again in our in our world um, and I just I feel so horrible about stuff like that I mean Brian and I were just talking like right before I left about stuff like that because you know they were saying how wives and husbands lost their best friends kids lost their fathers you know they were loved ones and they're going to be missed. So and I told Brian, I was like, you know, that is just awful. And Brian's work is like, there's only like four people that work in his office. And I always say, you know, you should probably shut that front door at work because a couple of weeks ago, some crazy like homeless guy did walk in there asking for some cable. Kind of scary. So I'm like, you guys should, I know if I worked there, that door would be locked all the time because I don't know, it's just scary. But in same with doctor's offices though. I mean, because... You know, working in a doctor's office, we're vulnerable too, which is scary. Scary, scary thought. But I also don't like the fact too that, <coughs> I'm sorry, that not all Muslims are scary. Not all Muslims are ready to attack people. It's not like that at all because that could go with any race. I mean, not all black people are thugs and not all, um, I had another one on my mind. Not all, um, Jewish people are cheap. I don't know if that's what, that's not what I was trying to say, but I don't know. Um, but not everybody that has a stereotype is what they, what the stereotype is. I mean, that's just kind of sad that people do that to everybody. And I don't know, I'm just, I just get so sad about that. And it just kind of makes me angry too, because I always try to be nice to everybody, regardless of their, their race or their color or their religious belief. I always try to be nice to everybody. Um, we have an Islamic family that comes into our doctor's office and she is in her full um, perka stuff or whatever. And all I can ever see is her eyes. And, um, and her husband comes in with her. And I am just, I am so nice to them. They don't scare me at all, and nor should they, because they're just human beings, and it is very sad. And I don't feel myself to be like naive or anything, because I'm not, because I am very, very careful of my surroundings, but I'm not gonna just pinpoint one certain person because of other Islamic extremists. So I just, anyway, so with that said, I'm just sorry for the families and the loss in San Bernardino, and the loss in San Bernardino. So anyway. Now, let's move on because it's it's hard to do sometimes when that type of stuff happens. So, anyway, um, nonetheless, so, yes, the agenda for today. The agenda for today is going to work, getting off at 12, going to, old, going to Starbucks, going to Old Navy and returning that, and then um, I'm trying to look for just a green solid wreath not the with the little tiny leaves on it i don't even know what those are called um it's like a bush that you usually put outside in your front yard but they have plastic ones for wreaths so that's what i'm actually kind of looking for i want to hang that wreath on the red window that we just spray painted last weekend because brian's gonna hang that up this weekend and then tomorrow is the progressive dinner which i'm so excited about so tonight we tonight or today or tomorrow I'll be going to get all of the stuff for the progressive dinner which is nice I'm excited about that 
Um, I'm excited to see everybody and I'm excited to just enjoy a nice fun evening with friends. Um, and then Sunday we have no plans. Zero. Then next week, oh my god, it's going to be like crazy because our kitchen counters are, are going to be installed next Thursday. So Brian and I have to remove all the countertops because it's like $200 for them to remove all the countertops. So we decided we're going to save that $200 and do that ourselves. So that ought to be fun. Yeah. And then this weekend I had to go pick up my sink faucet. And then, yeah, next Thursday is the um, installation of the new sink, the countertops, and the backsplash. So I'm excited about all that getting done. So hopefully by this time next weekend, it'll be done or halfway done. So, okay, light is green. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. So anyway, um, yeah, so that's it. So I'm on my way to work, and I'm going to go ahead and enjoy my Christmas CD. I picked up a Michael Buble Christmas CD the other day, or yesterday at Walmart, and um, I want to enjoy it on my way to work. So I will chit-chat with you guys later. Bye. Good afternoon, friends. Yay. It is 12 o'clock on Friday, and I am out of there for the weekend. Ah, it's so nice. I love it being able to get off early on Fridays because now I can go get a few things done that I need to get done. Being, I'm going to return that coat at all Old Navy. I almost said Olive Garden. I have Olive Garden on the brain. That sounds good though. Mmm, Olive Garden. No, no more Olive Garden. I'm going to Starbucks too really quick to get a coffee because it's like, it's cold enough outside for me to actually enjoy a coffee. What? So I'm so happy about the chilliness outside right now. The other thing that I was thinking about getting, I think I'm going to get a mount for this camera. That way I don't have to hold it anymore. I can just like turn it on and start chatting away. So I'm 14 days out of my Disney trip. 14 days. Two weeks from today um, we will be at Disney. Actually two weeks from yesterday. Well, it just depends. We're supposed to leave early on Thursday, but I don't know like how far we're going to get and if I actually end up getting past the front entrance of Disney on Thursday. So I'm just going to go with two weeks from today. I know for certain that I know to two weeks from today that I will be at Disney. So I'm excited about that. And um, I changed my clothes while I was at work. I just put on a pair of jeans, a flannel, and a vest, and a scarf. So, because that is festive enough and it's warm enough for the cold weather outside. So, I'm happy about that. Yeah, it's like 51 degrees. Uh, yeah, it's cold. So, uh, anyway, so yeah, that's what I'm doing. So, hang out with me today, guys. And, I don't know, we might have an adventurous day. You never know. But I'll let you guys know if I get anything at any of the places that I'm headed. Bye! I remember what it was. I picked up these three candles at Hobby Lobby and I thought they were just so perfect for this area because it's everything's red and white and I thought those would just be so perfect there. So that's what I got. Those are the candles. That's what I wanted to tell you guys. That's what I had forgotten. So now I'm going to stop and I'm going to do my stuff and I'll get back with you guys later. So uh, I just got back from the store and I just want to share with you guys a few of the things that I picked up for the progressive dinner. The olives, the orange marmalade, and the cocktail sauce. I picked up these pineapples because that's how I'm going to do the sausages. This is for dinner tonight because we wanted um, breakfast for dinner. So we're making French toast, bacon, eggs. That's what we wanted. I know it's fattening. Do not judge me. Um, this is the Canada Dry Ginger Ale that I picked up and the cranberry juice that I picked up for the drinks that I'm going to serve tomorrow night, which I forgot my frozen lemonades. So I'm going to have to go back tomorrow morning and get my lemonade for the drinks. Then over here, I picked up my chives for my bruschetta, my tomatoes for my bruschetta, my bread for my bruschetta, the bread for tonight's French toast. I picked up these cups because this is what I'm going to have everybody put their drinks in. And then I picked up all the crackers for the dips right here. I'm going to show you guys my refrigerator. Again, do not judge because it's a complete mess. 
Um, I picked up the cheeses for the appetizers. I picked up the um, blue cheese. Oh crap, I got blue cheese instead of feta. Dang, dang. Uh, I think I have feta back there. Yeah, I have feta. So I got feta, I got my tomatoes, I got my um, palmetto cheese, I got my mozzarella balls for the sausages, or excuse me, for the pepperoni things and the old salami for that. I got the sausages for the sausage stuff. Let's see, what else did I get? What else, what else, what else? Oh. Okay, I think that was pretty much it. Then from Hobby Lobby, when I ran in there really quick, everything, this stuff was like 50% off all their Christmas stuff. So I picked this up because I'm going to use this as part of my, um, like, table setting for the appetizers. This stuff will get moved. And the deer and the lantern will get moved. But this I'm trying to keep here because it is the centerpiece. Um, so I picked this up while I was um, at Hobby Lobby. I picked these up while I was at Hobby Lobby because I think these are just pretty just to stick in here. So that's what I have sitting in here. And then uh, I picked up two of those, which this one was like tore up, which all of them were. So I tried picking through which ones were not tore up. And then I picked up these little things that I could stick in here as well. So this is done. Let's see, what else did I pick up? I think that was it. Yeah, that was it. And I came home and I turned the TV on right away. And of course the news was on doing an update on that San Bernardino shooting. And they are considering it an act of terrorism, which is absolutely sad, scary, and just sickening to me because it's, it's anywhere 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 so i'm gonna go ahead and get some stuff done around here it's 20 minutes to three i started the movie that i like watching right now is gone girl and so um i just kind of hit play and there i'm watching gone girl while i'm starting to straighten up the house i swear there was something else that i wanted to show you guys but i can't remember what it was but if i think of it i will let you guys know and i will check back in with okay, you guys so later. now i'm going to show you guys what i picked up at old navy from returning the coat and I ended I only ended up paying $20 for all of this stuff because I returned the coat plus I had a coupon um, for $30 off of my purchase so anyway so here is all the stuff that I picked up at Old Navy I brought bought this shirt it's like um oh my gosh I don't know what kind of print this is or what material this is but anyway nonetheless um i got this shirt to go with these jammies for tomorrow night so it brings out the blue in there um so that's my jammies for tomorrow night for the progressive dinner because at the end we all dress in our jammies and then we go for drinks at the other house so anyway and then um, i picked up these little slippers these are red slippers that i picked up that i'm going to wear over there as well so I thought these were just super darn cute. So I was happy to get those. I hope they fit. They said a size nine, but they kind of look a little small. But anyway, so I picked those ones up for me. And then for Brian, I picked him up just this, um, it's got an old truck on it because he likes old cars and old trucks. And it says dashing through the snow. Um, it's a gray shirt. And then I thought he could wear it with these um, plaid jammies. So we're both going to be wearing plaid jammies tomorrow, but he's going to wear that shirt and then um just for the heck of it i picked him up some boxer shorts because i think these would be so cute if he wore like polka dot boxer shorts but he'll probably die knowing that i bought those for him but anyway just so cute to wear with the christmas themed jammies and then i bought him some christmas socks to wear with this outfit as well um that way his little toesies don't get cold but he'll probably wear his um house slippers anyway but anyway so i bought socks that he can wear with them too then I picked up these gloves for when we go to Disney, just in case it's cold outside and I want to keep my hands warm. I highly, highly doubt it, but you just never know. But I am watching the weather. It's supposed to be like a high of 77 on the day on that Friday. So, And then just for the heck of it, I picked up this shirt because I thought it was kindly neat. It's just like a black t-shirt with like a white or an ivory front with like ribbed whatever this is. But anyway, I just thought it was kind of cute and... Um, yeah, so seriously, all of that stuff right there, 20 bucks, guys, because of a coupon and returning that coat. So there you have a quick little Old Navy so, haul. I made the French toast mixture with eggs, milk, cinnamon, and vanilla. 
and I just made this mixture and I'm going to place it in the refrigerator because I'm going to wait for Brian to come home. That way that's all ready to go. I have our eggs out. I'm not sure what kind of eggs he wants. If he wants fried eggs or scrambled eggs. I prefer scrambled eggs. I do not like um, egg yolks because they actually gross me out. So I don't do eggs like that. Um, so I'm going to do my scrambled eggs, which I have my uh, measuring cup out for them. I'm just for dinner, and then I'll probably call it a night. Breakfast Bye. for dinner. Brian is uh, scrambling the eggs. <laughs> Did a fine job, Brian. We've got bacon, which we need to, uh, ouch, sons of guns. Um, that's a little hot. So we need to put on that plate, and then I need to put more on there. And then we have our French toast right here. Yum, yum, yum. Butter, syrup, all the bad, fattening stuff that we don't need. Right, Bri? Today's cheat day. Yeah, today's cheat day. It's like cheat day every day right now. Holidays. Not good, but, you know, you're doing a good job. Time to do the bacon. 